This episode is brought to you by Paramount Plus. Ewan McGregor stars as Count Alexander Rostov in A Gentleman in Moscow, the new limited series based on the best selling novel. Stream it with the Paramount Plus with Showtime plan. Visit ParamountPlus.com to try it free. Y'all come on in. Hey, I see y'all. Come on in. Come on in. Welcome to the motherfucking couch. Should I see y'all today? <laughs> Where we're at. <laughs> Sleepyheads. It's time for the couch chronic. The couch chronic. Where there ain't no ain't fucking, no limits. fucking limits. 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 You don't never want to miss a couch. Trust me. It ain't no fucking limits. I said none. getting me together. Narcus, when I say he got me together, this is some gas. I can't wait to go smoke some with my wife. Mm. Mm, I've been needing this. I have been needing it. Y'all know I, went, I didn't smoke yesterday. What I just, I just dabbed yesterday on the couch. Listen, judge me not, judge me not. Anyways, if you haven't already done so, make sure that you check on your strong people. Check on your people, people. If you fuck with somebody, if you love somebody, then you check on them. 
you make sure that they good. You make sure that you do your wellness check. If you know anybody that's in the hospital, you make sure that you do your wellness check. Get face to face, look them in their eye and make sure that they good. For real. Um, Y'all know why I started my podcast because I was in the hospital. So make sure that you do your wellness check. If you know anybody that is in um, prison, I'm not saying send them money, but write them. Write them, let them know that you fuck with them, let them know that you're still thinking of them, that they thought of, they're not forgotten. They're not forgotten. Also, you can send a package. They can now send. Pa they can now receive packages until the 31st of December. So if you know anybody that's in Oklahoma Penitentiary, you can send them a package. The approved list is on the couch page. So make sure that you go check that out. Let me type in this real quick because I'm going to play my Christmas song now. Which I really should have had this already done, I know. I know. But, thank you for bearing with me. Anyways, I hope everybody is doing good. Yes, 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 yes. I hope everybody is doing good. I'm sending positive vibes, love, and energy your way. Also, if you guys are on food stamps, um, no matter where you're located, if you are on food stamps and you are not working 30 hours a day, your food stamps may be getting cut off in January. So you need to go um, do everything that you can um, to keep your, thank you so much, um, to keep your food stamps on if you want them on or whatever you want to do. If you don't want them on, then leave them, let them go where they got to go. But for those that are on food stamps and you want to keep your food stamps, do everything that you can to keep them. There's plenty of benefits that come along with it. So anybody that is on food stamps, make sure that you do everything that you can um, to make sure that your stamps stay active. And I know sometimes we forget. So if you got kids and you want food stamps, don't forget. You got kids. You got to think about your kids. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that you renew. Also, make sure that you follow the couch on all social media. Follow the couch on um, Spotify, Pandora, Couch Chronicles, No Limits. Um, couch Chronicles dot no limits on Instagram, T H A Couch on Facebook, TikTok, and Big O, and um, my main Instagram, YouTube, and my dot com, which is T H A Real J A N E L L. Also, keep streaming my music. If you hear a song that um, I've done on here, and you're like, "Oh, what's what's that?" Look no further. Well, look further into yeah, wherever you stream music. Okay. I'm. You know what? I really. If I could play y'all this new song, man, y'all just don't know. I've been in my bag, okay? Like, I'm just, thank you. <laughs> right, you can't really see it on YouTube, but you can see it on Facebook. Um, I'm super excited about my new album that's going to be dropping. I literally have, I, I feel that bitch with so much, so much good stuff for y'all. Yeah, you said play it, play it. I'm about to play the Christmas song in a minute. Um, I'm just, man. Oh, you talking about the new song. Oh, see, now about that. That is one song that I'm not going to play yet. Because I'm telling you. I sent it to a couple people. And I was like, listen. And, and the people like radio station, like. My people's like, that's going to tell me like, hey, you know, maybe you should put that one back. Don't do nothing with that. But when my wife looked at me and she was like, you going to do what with this song? I was like, babe, I'm just, I'm just using this for content. I'm like, I'm not going to like keep it or nothing. She was like, yeah, no, we keeping this bitch. This bitch is hot. Like it's going on your next album. So I was like, uh, I was like, baby, you sure? Like. She was like, yeah, this is a motherfucking hit. I was like, okay, well, what's going on in the new album? And the album is going to be dropping in January. I'm just wrapping everything up. I'm telling y'all, when I say this album is packed with so much shit, y'all going to be like, damn, Nelly, wait a minute. Yeah, I got some shit for y'all. I got some shit for y'all. So if you fucking with the couch, if you fucking with me, Make sure you drop them couches and them potatoes. Yes. Drop them couches and them potatoes. Shout out to all my couch potatoes that's out there that's tuned in. Now, um, 
if you know what, I might play it for you, but I'm not. Look, I I can't. I can't. I had specific instructions from my wife. She said, "Baby, you can't play this one yet. You cannot play this one yet for the lives." I said, "Okay," because I thought about it. I was like, "Baby, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just go." Lie. She was like, "No, no, 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 no. This this is the one that you just you." Look, y'all got to wait on the album for that one. And when I say y'all going to be like, what in the fuck? Bars. You hear me? Bars. <laughs> so, I am excited about it. And today, tonight, um, I will be playing some exclusive beats from MAV. That's M-A-V dot G-B. So, if you are looking for any beats, if you're looking for any exclusive beats, Mixing and mastering studio time. Make sure that you tap in with him. He's back in Detroit. So if you're looking at Detroit and you're looking for a personal engineer, personal producer, somebody to create the sound that you've been looking for, trust me when I say he is the one. Okay? Um, if you guys haven't already been doing so, make sure that you keep on streaming my Christmas song. It's December. It's no reason why it shouldn't be playing right now. If your Christmas tree is up, every day that you see your Christmas tree is every day that my Christmas song should be playing. Why not? What y'all listen to during Christmas? So during Christmas, when your family come over, y'all listen to um, Shake That Ass, Pussy Hole Brown. Oh, wait, is that what it is? Is it the Pussy Hole that's brown? What'd she say her thing was brown? What'd she say was brown? Her booty hole. Oh. <laughs> her booty hole brown and her pussy is purple. Shit. The fuck? Something. But all I'm saying is, I don't know what y'all plan for Christmas, but I'm hoping that it's going to be my Christmas song. So let me say a few more things and we're going to get right into this Christmas song because y'all need to be getting into the vibe. Big O, get into the vibe. <laughs> get into the vibe. Coming up on the couch, y'all got Anthony Williams and Chiny. Chiny will be here this Thursday. I'm super excited for anybody to come on the couch. Um, if you come sit on this couch, to me, you are a superstar. And I would treat you as if you were a superstar. I'm going to ask you some good questions. We're going to get to know you. Pick your brain. And if anybody is watching, you can ask questions in the live as well. And I will make sure to relay the message and ask the questions. Anthony Williams, um, I want to say he's already discharged from prison. Or I'm sorry, he already discharged. So um, he, he said that he'll be here. So, And if I'm not mistaken, he's going to fly out here. To do his interview. I'm excited about that one too. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys know this. But sometimes when I have guests that come from different states. They actually fly out here. Or they'll drive out here. Just to sit on a couch and, and, and experience the couch in person. And that is an honor to me. Like for you to want to do all of that. Like to come get some of this good vibe in person. You know what I mean? Like, that's dope. That, that, oh my gosh, like, I can't even explain to you guys how that makes me feel inside. Like, a burst of energy. Like, I just feel really happy about that. Um, and honored, you know, to, to, for you guys to want to go out of your way because you could have just easily just tapped in on the live, but to want to go out of your way and actually come and sit on this couch and um, catch a vibe is dope as fuck. And you get to sign the board, possibly hit the mic. You just never know what might happen whenever you come to the couch. You fuck around and get a whole meal because I do provide meals too. So I'm just saying. Um, and like I said, what better way to celebrate break break? Happy birthday to all the Sagittarius. <laughs> Happy birthday to all the... Oh, the name of my Christmas song is called This Christmas. It's the next song that I'm going to play, actually. Um, to all the Sagittariuses, um, if you're watching this, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you on your 
I love y'all and happy birthday I hope that your birthday is just as special as you are um I don't really hear a lot of Sagittarius is like yeah Sagittarius season is my season hey big gang Sagittarius you know what I'm saying like you know how Tauruses we be like Taurus gay what big bull bitch what <laughs> so we do all of that but I've never really heard of Sagittarius do anything like that so you guys are so, so modest. You guys are just so, you have so much cooties. I love it. I love it. Now, for the Sagittarius that's looking at me like, girl, I'm more wild than a motherfucker. Shout out to you too, because you're keeping it on the cool and I ain't never seen it. I've never really had no Sagittarius be like, yes, Sagittarius in this bitch. It's a motherfucking Sag in this Sag. I mean, never, never, ever, ever. So, <laughs> Shout out to all the Sagittariuses that's tuned in. I hope you have a good birthday. Let's get into this Christmas song. You guys, get into the Christmas vibe. If you didn't already check it out, if you haven't already been streaming my Christmas song, yeah. Oh, wait, is it Capricorn or Sagittarius? Ooh, don't judge me. Mm -hmm. Oh, you said these damn Capricorns go crazy. See, you know, I have, I have, I do hear Capricorns being like, yeah, cap season. And I'll be like, yeah, because y'all about to be lying. Then what? That's it. Let's get into this Christmas song. If you haven't already streamed my Christmas song, don't worry. You have time. The whole month of December. Matter of fact, I have people that were streaming my Christmas song during the month of July. Okay? Let's get into this Christmas. Produced, of course, by Mav. That's M-A-V dot G-D. And again, I will be playing some exclusive beats from him. So if you're looking for any beats, what I was going to say is what better way to celebrate celebrate Christmas than to purchase a beat? If you know somebody that, that you fuck with that makes music, buy them a beat for Christmas. Oh, you want to play Dirty Santa? Oh, you want to play Clean Santa? Oh, you want to play Secret Santa? Whatever Santa, get a beat. Get you a beat and a gift it to your loved one. Gift them some studio time. Matter of fact, if there's an artist that's watching this right now, if you share this 10 times and comment a couch and a potato and invite somebody and they say such and such sent me, I a free session on me. Free studio session on me. Okay, let's get it. This Christmas. Why record podcast on Zoom? Uh, excuse me. Um, we don't do commercials. <laughs> Math gon' drop it. I'm sitting in a room watching the snow 
and you don't have anything and you you know for sure that you're not going to have anything to eat or if you have to work and you want to fight please hit me up i will make sure that you eat on christmas day um majority of it will be vegan i'm just letting you know because i'm completely plant-based but i do not mind cooking some regular ham on the side some chicken roasted i don't know something to make sure that you good to make sure that you like damn i ain't gonna have no meat for christmas you gonna have it i'm gonna make sure <laughs> but everything else is gonna be completely plant-based but you're not gonna be able to tell trust me when i say you're gonna be like mm. Mm. what's in this what's in this mac and cheese <laughs> okay mm. what's in this string bean casserole Mm. What is this? Oh, that's called a corn pudding. Okay. Mm. What's this? You just wait. Trust me, my cooking will change your life. You hear me? Yeah, I ain't playing. I ain't playing. You're going to be like, vegan where? That's vegan? That is not vegan. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Try my cooking and I promise you. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to say. Now, nobody has hit the mic in a while. I think I scared them. I think I did. And I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm just trying to encourage you to be all you can be. I'm just saying. Like, come on now. You're supposed to be an artist. So, if you're an artist, at any given moment, you should be able to spit some bars. You should be able to sing. You should be able to free whatever you should be able to write you should be able to do all of that you shouldn't be scared but if you are i apologize i was not trying to scare you but i do want you to hit the mic on the couch because it's a challenge challenge yourself challenge yourself as an artist i love to challenge myself as an artist I, the song that I was talking about that I just did, I literally freestyled the whole thing and was not thinking about putting it on my album. I literally was just about to put it out like, shit, this is the type of freestyle I'm talking about to y'all. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all what to do. But my wife said it was too good to just release, so it's going to be put on the album. <laughs> but listen, I'm not trying to scare y'all. I am trying to encourage you. That's, listen, I just want you to, to be the best you, be the best artist that you can. And the way that you do that is just like when I had to give in school, if you don't use it, you what? You lose it. So just thinking that um, you're a great artist and that you got bars and oh, I can come up with whatever. Okay, but don't you want to sharpen your skills? Like, don't you want to, like, even practice being on stage? Continue doing these shows. Continue doing these local shows. That way you can be the best that you can on stage. You don't want to be on the stage and then your lyrics is going and you like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Gia. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Can I hear some more? Yeah. Hey. In the back. You feel me? Nah. Y'all need to be saying y'all words. You know how many times I've seen these artists get on this motherfucking stage and literally they lyrics is going and they like. <laughs> I'm like, what is you laughing about? I'm not laughing. I'm actually kind of pissed. You need to be saying your words. There's no reason why you should be pointing your microphone at us. You a whole new artist. We don't even know you like that, bro. Not yet. We trying to get to know you. So if you don't mind, pick that mic up and spit your words. You're not Britney Spears. Why is you lip singing? We don't need that. No. This is your lyrics. Spit that shit. Spit that shit. If you're an artist, spit that shit. Get in, if you, listen, if you get challenged, I don't give a fuck. If it was motherfucking Jay-Z coming up in this bitch. If, if Jay-Z came up in here and he threw a beat on it and he was like, yo, I need you to spit something. You're going to be like, <laughs> see. <laughs> Y'all going to do all of that? Or you're going to be like, man, man, what? Man, go.
Go listen to my album. My album just dropped. Motherfucker, but I'm asking you to, to spit these bars. Of course, I know you can spit in the booth. Anybody can punch in. Anybody can punch in. Anybody can do a, a seven-day session. As long as they got the money to put to it. But on the spot, not everybody can do that. You'd be surprised how many people get nervous once they be like, you know what, I'm ready. And then once I hit record and I got that camera in front of their face, they like, it. okay, okay, you was right, you was right. Yeah, on the spot. And I'm not going to be like, even if you stumble, I'm not about to be like, <laughs> I'm not going to be doing that. I promise you, anybody that know me, anybody that's done any music with me, Anybody that's ever recorded with me, they will tell you, I, I will not laugh at you. I'm going to do everything I can to help you. And I don't give a fuck if you're not a singer. If you be like, yeah, but let me just sing this part. Don't make fun of me. And, uh, don't, when you listen to this, it's not mixed. You ain't got to explain none of that shit to me. Nothing. I don't even give a fuck about that. It's either you're going to spit it and we're going to get it done. And trust me, if the bars ain't good, I'm not going to laugh in your face. It's just not going to get posted. But I want y'all to spit that shit. Get that shit out. You guys are wonderful artists. So some of you guys are just wonderful artists for just the booth. And if that's not the case, then prove me wrong. Oh, you feel like you don't got to prove me wrong? Okay. Prove yourself wrong. Because I don't even think yourself believe in you. Because you damn sure didn't hit the mic anywhere. Hit that bitch. Don't be scared. And don't come here like, oh, yeah, I got the beat. No, no, you good. I got them, too. I got the beat. I'm going to record you. I'm going to do your whole studio session. And guess what? At the end of the year, I want you guys to pick who's maybe, should we say, the top five or the top three. Whoever had the best, I'm going to get them the whole beat. I'm going to get them their whole session so they can take, get, mix, and master, all of that shit. Whoever had the best, whoever y'all voted had the very, very best freestyle. I'm going to get them whatever beat they did it to. I'm going to pay for the beat myself. And then I'm going to get them the whole studio session. They can either come re-record it with me and I'll mix and master it. Or they can take the whole studio session, come bring their flash drive, take the whole studio session to wherever they want. As long as they working off Pro Tools, then they can mix and master your shit. We're going to figure out who had the very, very best at the end of the year. I'm super excited because... Um, I'm about to get together, like, I guess, like, a whole, all of them put together. Just a bunch of them put together. And then y'all just pick and see who did the best. And whoever y'all said did the best is going to be the one that gets the whole studio session, the beat, all of that. All of that. So, I'm excited. That's going to be dope. Mental Health Talk is next Monday on the couch. If you are willing to share your story, you are more than welcome to join the live. You can also come sit on the couch and tell your story. Um, I know it may be hard for some people um, and trigger warning um, ahead of time um, before Monday does come. I, I do want you to know that um, if anything is said on the couch and it triggers you, I do apologize. But I do um, mental health talk once a month on the couch. I don't want to bring up too many bad memories, but I do want to um, share stories because some stories that you might hear on the couch for mental health talk may help whoever's listening, whoever's watching. You know what I'm saying? You never know. So um, if I'm not mistaken, I do have a guest that wants to come sit down. I'm not going to announce her name yet. That way, um, if she's too nervous to come, I don't want to put her on the spot. So um, I will um, send her the necessary information Monday. So um, hopefully we have a guest. If not, then I do have more stories for you guys. So just stay tuned. Um, if you are a person that... It's your first time joining and you're like, you know what? That sounds like a good subject and I do want to share something. You are more than welcome to share. You don't have, it could be your first time joining the couch. It, you can just join as a guest like and never have been here before. You can just tell your friend like, hey, you know, I knew that you wanted to um, talk about something with mental health. Um, so if you want to go to the couch, you know, just please refer them to me because um, this is the therapy that you never knew you needed. Um, I also today, it's weird because today I had a DoorDash order at a mental health facility and they gave me a bunch of different paperwork to share with you guys on Monday. Also, um, 
I'm going to call them tomorrow and see if I can set up an interview so the next time that we have mental health talk, I can actually go up there and interview them and um, discuss, you know, mental health topics firsthand from, you know, um, a mental health specialist. So I'm super excited about that as well. The couch will be in Dallas again for the Dallas BET Awards. That's in July of next year. Shout out to Money Man Rado for booking the couch again because he didn't have to book the couch again. He really didn't. But I'm super excited to know that I'm going again to the Dallas BET Awards. It was so fucking lit the first time. Um, they treated me like royalty. Um, the love was just so real. I just, uh, I love Dallas. I love, love, love Dallas. I can't wait to be back. Um, again, that's in July, the Dallas BET Awards. It will be put up on my website. And it's also on the couch page. So be sure that if you are in Dallas and you watch it, to come out and support the Dallas BET Awards, I want to say this is the fourth annual. Super excited. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Because like I said, last year was so fucking turned. So fucking turned. Ugh. I can't wait to go again. Now, um, before we get into anything else, I am going to get into some beats. So if you are looking for any exclusive beats, mix and mastering, any studio time, make sure that you tap in with Mav. That's M-A-V dot G-D on Instagram. I'm going to play a few, maybe more than a few, because I really don't even know. Um, I didn't even get a chance to sort through none of these, so I'm just going to click on whatever I see, which I can't see nothing. But. I am. I am. Infinite. Infinite.
fucking hard. I'll fuck around and do something to that motherfucker tonight. Hey, since you got me out here, uh, crunked up. Yeah, <laughs> fuck, fuck around be on this. They don't want to fuck around and be on the album. They say you're going to have to come through with the video again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch is hard. Y'all, if you just now tuning in, it's the Couch Chronicles where it ain't no fucking limits. I do this every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 8 Central Time. Follow Couch Chronicles No Limits on Spotify, Pandora, THA Couch on Facebook, TikTok, and Big O. Couch Chronicles dot No Limits on Instagram and my main YouTube Instagram and my dot com, which is T-H-A, real J-A-N-E-L-L. Y'all, if you're looking for any beats, custom beats, if you like any of those beats that you heard, make sure that you tap in with Mav. That's M-A-V dot G-B on everything. Um, you can also email him. His information will be in the description. Make sure that you tell him that the couch sent you. Because that's who I am. I'm the couch, baby. The couch. Now, news you can use on the couch, and then we're going to wrap it up. Okay. Period. Um, <laughs> now, I, I don't know um, if any of you guys went to Beyonce's concert. I think her tickets was like, what, $28,000 or some shit? I don't know. But shout out to the people that did go, you know, and that enjoyed it. And um, I know her and Jay-Z was expecting that the film that she directed herself and put together herself, um, they expected it to do really good in theaters. And it did good the very first week. But after the second week, um, the film just took a tumble. It went from number one to number five within a whole weekend. And um, they're actually struggling to get back up to the uh, top. What up, though? Struggling to get back up to the top, so. I don't know. Just, I don't know how I feel about a concert being turned into a movie anyway. And I think that's probably what everybody else was thinking. Like, what are you going to watch besides what what everybody already seen and they showed on social media? Now, it would have been different. If Beyonce made everybody that came to a concert and told them, um, hey, you cannot record anything um, that happens here, due to it, it's going to be on my um, in my movie, you know, and I want to be able to show it on my movie. And I want people to be surprised. Also, the anticipation of the outfits. We've seen them all. Like you showed us. Beyonce should have never showed us anything on her social media. She should have never showed us her outfits. Um, it, especially if it was going to be a big part of the movie, it, that's a big part, like the, the outfit change, the this, the that, the this. So, um, I don't know, just, that's basically, um, I don't, I don't know, like, it, it wasn't a movie to where it was something to where she was being very informative. She was telling you guys, no, it was just the concert, so. I could see why it went where it went. Cardi B has been trending lately, if you guys haven't noticed. Um, which I know some of you guys have been. And I love me some Cardi B. So, um, and I know that a lot of times when women are going through things, we cut our hair. Did y'all notice that? Like, we will go through something and like a terrible breakup. And we will fucking shave all of our hair off. Or we will go get a pixie haircut. Or we will go get something just so drastic done that they like, oh, damn, the new you. Oh, damn, like, what? Who was that? You know? So, it says it could be this, something with the right person on it. Yes. So, um, honestly, I've been rooting for Cardi B in um, Offset. Like, I really was hoping that they made it. You know, um, it was rumors that Offset had sex with Chris on Rock, um, allegedly. And um, who told that was Blueface. Matter of fact, before I even went live, Blueface even put the date, the time, and the place that he said that they had sex. And, um, you know, because him and Chris on was going, getting into it again. She already told him the business, so went and told the business so cardi is like fed up with it but honestly i was just thinking like i wonder if cardi is like you know what i do not want to fight this girl <laughs> i do not want to fight this girl but 
what y'all think? I was thinking that she probably was like, I don't want to fight her. She ain't even worth it. You can have him. You can have him. He ain't even worth the trouble. He ain't even worth the trouble. He probably done poked up with them roses he had in his motherfucking locks that one day. Anyways, Ukraine came under heavy attack from air and cyberspace. Local official says, nearly 600 Russian shells, rockets, and other projectiles rained down on southern region and an un un unidentified hacker knocked out all phones and internet service of the country's biggest telecom provider. Now, this is sound like the type of shit that we hear in movies. This don't sound like the type of shit that we hear in real life, but we hearing this in real life. And a lot of times we're not paying attention to it because we're doing other stuff. But this is real. This is what's happening in the news right now. This is what's happening in the news right now. Cyber attacks. Like, literal, literally war. Like, it says the ones can get hurt from there too. Yup. And it's on national fire. Like, it's, it's literally war right now. There's hostages daily that's being um, taken and um, let go. You know, it's we got to stay aware of what's going on in the news and we cannot be sitting around looking like some motherfucking boo-boo the fucking fools. Because when the time come and then all of a sudden they start dropping bombs on Hero here, right here in front of us, in Oklahoma, United States of America, wherever, like how they did in Hiroshima. Yeah. And then y'all like, oh my God, what, when did this start happening? We was at war. We've been at war. Yes. Yeah. You need to pay attention. <laughs> you need to pay attention. You need to pay attention. Don't let shit go over your head and just start reading. Y'all adults need to start reading again. Y'all need to start really reading again. Not only do y'all need to start reading again, but y'all need to start watching the news Y'all need to start keeping up with what's going on in the world. We living in our last days. And we need to, and especially those that got kids, you need to know what's going on. You don't want your, say you don't watch the news, right? You don't know that there's a, 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 a shooter that's in your neighborhood. You let your kid walk to school the next morning, all of a sudden your kid gets shot because this shooter is in your neighborhood just randomly shooting kids. But you didn't know because you didn't watch the news and you didn't know that there was a shooter that was in your neighborhood that was shooting kids when they was on their way to school. You need to start watching the news. You need to start paying attention to your kids. Start paying attention to the things that's going on around you. Don't let the world just go on around you and you don't know what's going on in the world. You know how many people that's out there right now that literally the world is going on right, right around them and they just like... It's like, God dang. You don't want to pay attention to what, what's happening right here? You, let alone paying attention in your own city. If you don't pay attention for yourself, you need to pay attention for your kids. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's just real. Don't let life pass you by without you knowing what the fuck is going on. You in the store and... and I'm not even trying to be funny. And I, I, I hear this a lot. I, I'm in a store and I hear um, a white person trying to carry a conversation with a black person about something that's going on in the world. And they're like, what is it? Uh-uh, what? And then the white person is just looking at them like, never mind, I thought you knew. And I don't mean to make it a race thing. But I'm, I just recently seen this. And in my community, in the black community, let's just keep it real. This is the Couch Chronicles where there ain't no fucking limits in the black community. Either we ain't watching the news, we ain't reading, or we ain't paying attention to what the fuck is going on. Why? Because we working. Oh, I'm busy. I got errands to run. I, I got to get to. I, I can't watch TV. I don't got time for TV. I don't got time to. But you got time to be on Facebook scrolling. You got time to be making posts. 
You got time to be taking pictures of your pussy and your dick. You got time to be jacking off. But you ain't got time to keep up with the news, to know what's going on in the world, right? Right beyond your door. All you got to do is open your door. There's shit going on. You need to know. But you just so busy and focused on something else. What about your kids? What about staying aware for your kids? The only way you can be aware is if you know, is if you look into things, is if you research, is if you... You can't be aware if you just don't know nothing. You literally just walking into... That's like getting in the field with not a not a shield, not a gun, not a... And then you like, you know, freeze! But all you got is your finger. These motherfuckers got choppers on you. Ready to chop your motherfucking block off and you freeze because you came out in the field with nothing. With nothing. Because your mind is a weapon too. Your mind is your weapon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Use it. Learn. Start reading again. Reading is fundamental. You know? Start watching the news. If you like, okay, well, I'm busy. I can't. Make time. We make time for the things that we love. We make times for the things that we want. We make times for the things that we, right? Take a little time. Because you have to be able to protect yourself and your family. And the only way you can do that is if you know exactly what's going on. And you can know exactly what's going on by doing your research. Do it. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong. I love y'all. And I just want y'all to be good. I want y'all to be okay. And life is too short. For real. And we are living in our last days. So... Spread goodness, spread, spread love. You know, if you got some information that you've been holding on to, let that information out. Teach somebody some shit. Teach them. People do want to know some stuff. Make time, yep, yeah, make time for the little things. Make time. <laughs> make time because I'm telling you, it, it can help. It can help. You have no idea, like, okay. Say, for instance, you are a drug dealer. Say you're a drug dealer and you're like, you know what? I got to transport this pound across to the west side. I don't have no uh, police scanner. But if I watch the news, because this, this is a day that the police is hot. If I watch the news, then I will know if they got any checkpoints, if they said the police is hot, or if I go to the, you can even type in, you know what, you want to be on Facebook so much. Go into the search bar and type in news, and I guarantee you it will give you the news. I guarantee you. You can even put, um, um, in my city news. The fuck? And it'll pop up. It'll show you. You want to be on Instagram? Type that shit in the Instagram. Wherever you at. I'm telling you, it'll pop up. Whatever you're looking for is going to pop up. I look for specific shit. I be wanting to know. Is there any shooters around this bitch? Was there any shootings last night? You know how many shootings it was? Between the time I told y'all about stop the gun violence yesterday? Man, come on now. Mm. Oklahoma, did you vote today? If you didn't vote today, I I don't know if there's a time tomorrow. I forgot to look. But, um, you know, you guys can have a say-so in what goes on in Oklahoma City permanently. You know, um, your impact, your vote can impact, you know, Oklahoma City in, in a long-lasting way. So, you know, if you are able to vote, vote, you know. Um, also, I do want to give a moment of silence because um, yesterday I was telling you guys about the um, shooting that was on the highway. 
and um, the young man, they actually just released his name. Um, I don't think I, I didn't write it down, but um, I do want to give a moment of silence for those that lost their life. Um, it was an unfortunate incident, a, a duck hunting incident. It was an OSU graduate. Um, he fell into like a drop off near the water um, trying to get a duck. He was only 24 years old. Um, two members of the OU community died in a plane crash this Sunday. Barrett Ellis and his wife, Brittany. <clears throat> um, I'm sorry, and his wife, Megan. Um, he was flying a plane when it, and also whenever it crashed, um, his wife was still in there on fire and he ran, you know, into the fire trying to save his wife and ended up dying from his wounds too. So um, they both passed away. Um, homicide number 71, um, a person was found dead in a motel with, and that was a gunshot wound. That was just last night. So... Um, that was according to OK, OKC Free Press. Um, listen, again, I want to give a moment of silence for those that have lost their life in um, any gun violence, um, any autoimmune disease, any sickness. People die every day. I'm telling you, I'll be looking that shit up. It's all type of deaths from all type of different things. So if you have anything that's on, um, if you can take this time with me and just give a moment of silence. Um, say their name in your head if you know their name. Um, if anybody's special to you, um, please say their name. Thank you, guys. And the last thing I'm going to say before I wrap it up is if the people in your life is not helping you to elevate and if they're just stagnant, Leave them in 2023. I love you guys. It's the Couch Chronicles and it ain't no fucking limits. I will see y'all Thursday with Chiny. Chiny will be on the couch. So if y'all don't know who she is, I will post her flyer tonight. It will be on all my social media and in my stories. I love you guys so much. Sending positive vibes, love and energy away. Have a beautiful night. It's the Couch Chronicles and it ain't no fucking limits. Period. <laughs>